This is just a quick video on a uh, new Rough Rider swing guard knife that I got. And uh, it's a cheap $10 knife from Amazon.com. And the main reason I got it is because uh, I travel into New York City a lot. And lately there has been a increase in the number of people getting arrested for carrying basic pocket knives. And I'm talking about knives that you get from you know, Home Depot or Walmart. And um, I read recently a, a guy was arrested and he had a basic, um, you know, three inch Ozark Trail Walmart knife and he had the clip sticking out of his pocket. And for whatever reason, the police are on red alert and looking for people with the clip sticking out of their pocket. And, um, you know, sometimes the cases get thrown out, but, uh, you know, who needs to be handcuffed, arrested, brought into, uh, you know, a jail and um, have to call an attorney sometimes and all this over, you know, a, a cheap little knife. I really think that they're targeting the wrong people. And I think if you see, a, you know, a husband walking down the street with his wife and he has a clip sticking out of his pocket, he's probably not looking to mug anyone or do anyone harm. It's probably just a little knife that he has for everyday tasks as well as, um, you know, possibly self-defense. But um, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I got, you know, hundreds of knives, maybe a thousand knives. And uh, I, I just don't want the hassle. So I was looking through my collection the other day and I said, well, it's, it's su summer and uh, I'm going to, you know, take something with me when I go to the city that doesn't have a clip and I have a couple but um, I saw this one on Amazon like I said and for 10 bucks how could you go wrong so uh, this is it this is a Rough Rider knife and it's called a swing guard and it is model uh, 1324 and uh, basically it's just a little lock back knife and it's really tiny it's only three and a half inches closed and it has a two and a half inch blade made out of 440 stainless steel. And to open it, it's just got the small little thumb stud like the old fashioned knives. And um, it has this yellow color, just like a lot of the old case knives and a lot of the old uh, knives we used to buy when we were young in hardware stores. But, um, you know, it's a synthetic uh, plastic, I guess. But believe it or not, for a $10 knife, it feels pretty good. It's got a nice little weight to it. And it's got these uh, little nickel silver bolsters, bolsters and the way it works is like I said you just pull out the blade and when you do that you got this little uh, two and a half inch blade which uh, if I was ever stopped by a policeman and they gave me a um, hassle for carrying something like this knife I'm immediately going to pack my bags and move out of the New York area which is what I should do anyway but uh, for business reasons I'm having a hard time uh, leaving right now. But this is New York City legal, that's for sure. And the reason they call it a swing guard is because it has these little guards that basically pop up. And I guess if you were, you know, using this knife for any kind of task, it prevents your finger, your forefinger from sliding forward on the blade and cutting yourself. So not really what I'd call a self-defense knife, but it is kind of sturdy and it is a lockback. So to close it, you just push this right here and you go like that and it's locked and as you see the swing guard uh, part you know folds down flush and it is really very smooth overall there is no rough edges uh, at all and you see the little rough rider logo on it right there uh, so it could go in your pocket and you know especially if you're wearing like light shorts or light summer type pants or something like that and you don't want anything that's gonna you know cause attention to you and you just need a knife I know me I always need a knife, whether it's cut in boxes, strings, anything like that. I, you know, in the time that I don't have a knife, it's, it's crazy that I always have to cut something and have to ask to borrow a knife from someone. So just, uh, you know, not much to say about it. It's just a very inexpensive knife, but I think it's really a beautiful knife for $10 and it's really well made. And uh, as you can see, there's the back of it there. It is made in China, but like I said, it's 440 stainless steel. It's got the brass pins. And, um, you know, how could you go wrong for 10 bucks anyway? So for me, if I carry it a couple of times to New York City and if I have to cut something, um, you know, it's certainly well worth it. And uh, if after that it just goes in the collection with all the other knives, then, you know, so be it for $10. How could you go wrong? So anyway, just a quick look. Rough Rider Small Swing Guard Lockback Knife. So if you're looking for something to carry into New York City or 
something that could be discreetly carried in your pocket without a pocket clip, um, I highly recommend it. So just a quick look at a pretty knife, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.